are you going to be getting Ubisoft Plus? That's the thing. I I realized that it's not available here. So what? It's, it's it's not. I don't get. I don't have access to Ubisoft Plus. I could be wrong, but maybe it's also on PS Five. But for PC, it's not available for me. What's available for me is Microsoft Game Pass, and EA's subscription. But I I'll I'll check Game Pass if it comes with a Ubisoft Plus. But as far as I know, I don't think so. So you know, I if I if I really wanna get it on PC, it's gonna be you know the other means of me getting it. <laughs> That's okay. probably the only way. So, um, did you know to get um, to sort of drum up like high, um, you know, like a f- excitement? You know, people usually get like free copies of the game, mm-hmm. so you can play the game. Mm-hmm. But I guess Ubisoft is sort of buttering up uh, people's dicks, yeah, and assholes yeah. with not just the, the game itself, but also trips to Disneyland. Mm-hmm. All right, this, all right, here's this article right over here. Ubisoft buttered up YouTubers and influencers with trips to Disneyland and boat tours to promote Star Wars Outlaw. This is extremely unethical. What the? F- yeah. This is, this is crazy, man. Yeah. But, and th- I know not all YouTubers got the same offer. I think some of them just got the game for free or got to p- play it on the cloud. So not all, not all of them who, who, who covered the game, it, who made previews about the game. But to those who did, you, like, if, example, if that was me. It's like, I, I got a free copy of Star Wars Outlaws and they took me to Disneyland, blah, 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 blah. I, it's like, for me, I would have said that. I would have, oh, guys, uh, hey, Ubisoft brought me to Disneyland. I got a free copy of the game. And then I talk about the game. I mm-hmm. think the thing is, a lot of them didn't. They just kind of just talked about the game. Oh, it's probably gave it praises because, you know, you're not going to get something like that again if you shit on the game. It's just, yeah, I agree with you. Highly, highly unethical. Yeah. Like, and the thing is that you can't trust any of them anymore. Uh, see, yeah. new investigation into Ubisoft's marketing campaign for Star Wars Outlaws reveals that the company buttered up YouTubers and influencers with trips to Disneyland and a boat tours before giving them access to... Wait, wait, wait. You have to take our bribe before, before you can play our game? Uh, or this game will be before four hours access to four hours of gameplay footage. Okay, I okay, I don't necessarily believe that. I think it's they were being selective on the YouTuber. Like if they oh, probably, okay. they, I I would think that's my personal take. Like that's what I think. I don't have any evidence to substantiate my claims. Uh, I would say it's like if it's like a smaller, not that well known YouTuber. Like they would say, okay, you got you gotta take our deal first before you get to play the game. And then That's I garbage, imagine, but, man. But, but but probably for the bigger ones like Luke Stevens or Mr. Maddie Place, I don't think they were gonna they're gonna they're gonna pull off something like that. So they would probably they probably just offered them the game and then or play it on the cloud and then yeah, you're feel free to record their take. I imagine. But for the smaller ones that they feel that they can get a better control out of, I imagine that they they went through this process, man. All right, so right over here, German YouTuber Cyberpunk 20XX discovered multiple YouTubers and influencers revealed how they were actually influenced by Ubisoft as part of the company's largest marketing campaign ever. Like, I I would say that the reason why they're doing this is because they really want to make sure that, like, this game does good and their investors does, like, like yeah, because I, I wonder if they're, if they're also going to be doing this with Assassin's Creed Shadows. That one that's gonna be more of a slippery slope, considering how much bad PR the game got, especially in the native country. So it's not like they're they're not gonna fly YouTubers to Japan. Otherwise, there's oh, gonna be a ton of yeah. There's gonna be a ton of true. Japanese. Um, they might even get hurt along the way with all those angry Japanese people with Assassin's Creed shadows. But yeah, yeah and either way, yeah, this is not a good look on Ubisoft again. Yeah. See, uh, first Ubisoft CEO, uh, is it Ves, Ves, uh, Guillermo, Yves, uh, Guillermo revealed that the Yves company Guillermo, was yeah. rolling out its largest marketing campaign ever for Star Wars Outlaws. Uh, during a recent earnings call, uh, Barkley Nick Dempsey asked, when I look at the guidance for Q2, and I assume something similar for a back catalog in Q2 as Q1, kind of getting to 203 uh, to 230 million. That sort of range for the new release of Star Wars Outlaws. When I look at the seventy dollars price, and then assuming what you might get from it, I'm assuming is get five million units. 
something uh, that sort of bracket. First of all, where could I be uh, going wrong? With this thinking. Secondly, are you just being pretty conservative in your guidance? Because I guess, given the interest in the game, we might have thought it would be more than five million units. Yeah, it sounds like they're just giving out a lot of. They're pushing this thing to making sure it's good, right? Now, I actually want to see who posted it. Is there actually a thing? Okay, right over here. So this guy wrote over here, Ubisoft and Star Wars flew me out to California to play Star Wars Outlaws and interview the game director and lead writer and meet the cast. I'm beyond grateful for the amazing opportunity. VIP tour Disneyland tomorrow. How much? VIP Disneyland tour price. I want to see how much this costs. VIP but tours. Yeah, the, the wanna... thing is, Ubisoft has been notorious for like accommodating YouTubers, especially the big ones, to like go to their office and play the game. But but like, yeah, this is I think taking it a step too far if they're de taking them to Disneyland. The like, I know Skillup kind of admitted that he was given early access by Ubisoft to play Avatar, the one that came out last year, to play mm -hmm. Avatar. But he he. He disclosed that he paid for his own flight to get to Ubisoft, but he did get early access to it. I think, which I think is fine. And it's good on him that he disclosed it that way. But taking them to theme parks, that's, you know, that's taking it way, 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 way too far. Okay. So, okay. So, so, so basically, a VIP tour, according to what I, I'm lo looking at Reddit right now, to so people who, are, who have done it. Okay. So, uh, during peak times, it's definitely going to be on the higher end. And you need to basically hire a tour guide. And that tour guide costs anywhere from $425 to $700 an hour. An hour. Wow. Besides a line skipping, what exactly perks do you benefit? I know, I know that I know that you can get um you can get uh several rides. You can go on uh, you can go on uh whatever rides you want uh front of the line, and then I know you get a free like breakfast or lunch or something like that with the characters, but that's in. That's so fucking expensive, but yeah. and this is three years ago. So they basically got paid like maybe a thousand. Maybe if they got they flown him, they, they flew them out. It's like a thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. Here's another one right over here. How they blast hee hee experiencing Star Wars Outlaws at the preview event this week. Thank you Ubisoft for the next plushie and for flying me out for all the festivities. And here's another one right up here. Built an epic lightsaber at Galaxy Edge today with a fellow Star Wars Outlaws content creator and exploit the park. It was an absolute blast. Man, PSA, I was, okay, this person right over here. PSA, I was not paid by Ubisoft or anyone else to make this video. I was given the opportunity to record content. However, it was fully my own choice to make and share content based on it. The only money I take from this content is from YouTube views, views and there's no shilling in, in, in this agenda. That's crazy, man. But the thing is, there is they they're also trying to bribe another person. Same article. YouTuber Star Wars Theory re reveals he was uh, he rejected Ubisoft's offer to promote Star Wars Outlaws. I ain't going to play nice. Yeah, that's that's insane. Yeah. Like, hey, hey, look at the bright side, Ubisoft. He's probably gonna get the high, the ultimate edition, <laughs> so he gets it early. So that's the silver lining, Ubisoft. <laughs> you get one hundred thirty bucks from him. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. You, you, YouTube's number one Star Wars content creator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so here's here's the thing. Jay knows him. Mm -hmm. We know Jay. Mm -hmm. By transitive property, we know him. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, man. Just kidding. That's stupid. But all right. So right over here, YouTuber Star Wars Theory revealed that he rejected an offer from Ubisoft and its partners to promote upcoming Star Wars Outlaws game from Massive Entertainment. Uh, in a recent video upload to his channel, Theory stated at the end of the day, yeah, they did reach out. We were potentially going to do something. I gave them an exorbitant amount of money i was well like well you need to give me this and look there's going to be a ton of things in the contract that will not bind me to any sort of tailoring of what i need to do and, or don't need to say about this game yeah yeah he seems like they're not gonna let you bad mouth the game right like they're not gonna let especially right now with theory like they're people are trying to cancel him 
people are hating on him and making shit up about him and stuff like that. Like it's, he is the biggest star Wars content creator on YouTube, but it's not looking, it's not like he, he, it's the game doesn't look good either. Right. I don't know, man. That's this, this, this yeah. is, this is crazy, dude. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, he, he, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I was, I think, yeah, because Ubisoft knows he's, he's that big that he has a huge impact on their bottom line when the game gets released. So if he shits on it, then yeah, it's going to hurt the game really, really badly. That's yeah. all I want to say. You see, he continue if it's if it's complete ass, I'm going to be totally candid about that. And so at the end of the day, nothing was signed, nothing was done. And I'm happy about that because the game looks like absolute shit. Damn, he basically say, I if the game is ass, I'm gonna say it. And it's like, oh, 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 never mind, never mind. Don't we we rescind our offer to you. That's that's crazy, man. He later reiterated, yeah, we were in talks. They did reach out surprisingly, and I was like, okay, I spoke to my network. And that he was in the middle, man, and that was it. And I made him know for sure. I'm like, look, I like ain't going to play nice, man. Like, if it's, you know, a certain way, I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. They know how I am anyways. In the end, I didn't sign anything. I didn't conform. I I did. I, I didn't. I'm pretty sure I didn't do anything. No matter what the compensations were, it's my ways or it's not when it comes to my channel. Uh, I'll never take a certain amount of money and then sign a contract which says I can or cannot say something. Like, screw that, dude. I don't he, need he, that. He's going to make a lot of money either way. Where, like, if, even if Star Wars Outlaws is good or bad, if he just posts this review, he's going to make a ton of money. That on its own. So he, he, doesn't, he doesn't need whatever it is Ubisoft is giving him. Yeah. And, yeah, and I think we, we, we got another raid, man. What, the, what, is, raid. what is happening? Holy crap. Beardle raid? <laughs> <laughs> wow is that that's three that's three tonight yeah yo thank Third you one. so much for the raid beardo thank you thank you we have the Sasuke sisters hanging out in the chat it says beardo raid sub a girls yo thank you thank you so much for the raid man holy crap we got this insane tonight yeah yo what's going to x-wing how's it going man how's it going thank to x-wing you. hope you guys are doing well but yo thank you thank you for the raid man thank you thank you yeah, three, yeah, three raids. One egg roll. No, uh, yes, yes, one egg roll. But yeah, thank you, thank you for the raid. Holy shit, that's crazy. But yeah, like we, the thing is that we do know, like, I think, I think he, I think theory drives a Lamborghini, if I'm not mistaken. Like he, yeah. he's extremely well off. He doesn't need yeah, this. He doesn't need Ubisoft money. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, that's 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 crazy, man. Uh yeah, will we be discussing titties this evening? We did talk about it. We did talk about it. Unfortunately, K Vest does not have any. Mm -hmm. But we did talk about the character that I created, and uh yeah, it is uh it is pretty it's pretty nice. It's it's, it's pretty nice. This is one of the characters that we created. But yeah, uh in, in my opinion, um it's extremely unethical for them to like grease the wheels. And now here, here's the thing: it's it's sort of um uh it's you get free it's access journalism as well we're going to give you all these free stuff please talk good about our game and then we also give you a free access to the game early as well and mm -hmm. like i said theory doesn't need it like he's extremely well off he, like like he said he doesn't need any of the money and i'm glad i'm glad he's doing that he he's he's um i think his his uh, integrity holds up really really well for this one but yeah um Later in the video, yeah, we, okay, we talked about that already. Uh, Theory's revelation that Ubisoft and his partners contacted him to promote Star Wars Outlaws comes in the wake of the report of German YouTuber Cyberpunk 20XX, who discovered that multiple YouTubers and influencers were influenced by Ubisoft as part of the company's largest... Uh, and we talked about this earlier in the, um, in the thing, right? We, we basically talked about this earlier. And the game that we saw, like, oh, this is the best shooting, that they have such good shooting combat, like, it's, it does not look great. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.